it going guys? It's Logan back with another video and what we're going to talk about today is something that I've addressed with numerous individuals that I've worked with over the years and that is simply the fear of moving. Now when it comes to physical activity participation, most individuals who are doing it might be afraid for a few different things but afraid of actually moving and doing something isn't usually one of them. Um, this is something that typically happens with older individuals, whether they've had um, some disc-related changes over the years in their back, uh, maybe multiple uh, surgeries, and just different aspects of their body are um, quote-unquote broken in their sense, and they're afraid of moving because of this. And this is incredibly important to address because if we don't address it, obviously they're not going to be moving, they're going to become incredibly sedentary, and this leads to even more disuse and more lack of movement because they're not moving. So it's kind of a catch-22, and uh, one of the things that I think is most important when dealing with this uh, situation with the clients you work with is just simply talking to them, trying to change the narrative that movement is not painful and working with them in a way to do those things that they used to do. Um, take them through a strength program, take them through a walking program in a way that doesn't cause movement to almost challenge their expectation of um, what they think might happen. So that's really the main thing that um, I always try to do. Um, but also just listening to them in general is really important because you may find a barrier by listening to them that is kind of causing this. So maybe they went to the doctor um, numerous different years ago and that doctor told them to not lift anything over 50 pounds because their back's going to explode. Um, this happens all the time in healthcare and it kind of drives me insane because, you know, usually doctors, their their goal is to increase patient health, um, just be advocates for improving their overall health and wellness of their patients. Um, and a lot of times I think it goes um, slipped under the rug simply because they're trying to save their butt due to liability issues, which I kind of understand, but um, putting these narratives in our client's head is not, not the way to do it. We need to frame movement and exercise in a way that's non-threatening and non-scary, especially for these populations that do have these um, mobility issues and uh, limitations in movement. So um, in recap, make sure you talk with them, find out exactly what's causing them fear, try to change the narrative of what's causing that fear, and just work with them in a plan and a way that helps get them moving without having that fear. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this little talk about um, working with clients who fear movement. We'll make sure to catch you in that next video.